I'm going to start by taking off the storm cover. And then removing the uh, mattress, and the mattress cover can also be taken off of the actual mattress. As such. All right. Then looking here, you have your liner on the inside. The liner is just zipped on. So by running the zipper all the way around the inside of the bassinet, we can remove that liner. All right, then moving on to the canopy. First thing you're gonna do is unzip these front elements where it goes all over that uh, handle here. And you can detach it. And then what's going on on the back of the canopy is that there's a plastic strut that uh, pushes in and connects with a peg here on either side underneath. And also in the back, uh, that plastic strut is held on with like a clip. So if you reach right under here in the back, you can feel the lip of that clip. You can actually detach it. There we go. Pops off just like that. So this side holds that strut, and this side goes around the frame. And there's a little peg in the middle. There's a corresponding hole on the frame there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a hold of this plastic strut, and without fear of breaking the uh, your stroller. You're going to pull it out like that. So it's, it's just like on the canopy. There's a peg that goes through that hole, and it does take a little bit of pressure. So you can be a little afraid you're going to break it. But pull it out on one side, and then you can thread or feed the canopy off of that entire strut. There are, of course, also these textiles. Um, they're relatively okay to remove from the main frame. I'm not going to do that today because you still can't easily remove the baseboard because the baseboard is actually riveted into the textiles. So uh, I would recommend that you wash that by hand if you have any issues. Otherwise, it's a matter of drilling out these rivets, uh, among other things, which is kind of a, a big job and could potentially do da damage to the stroller. But in any case, that's how you remove all the rest of the textiles for the bassinet. And all of these are machine washable. Uh, you want to use a colder wash and you want to hang it up to dry afterwards. Uh, in any case, let's uh, put it back together then. So returning to that canopy. So if you look at where that strut went through, there's actually a gap here in the middle and that is for that clip. So I'm going to take the canopy like this. I'm going to start feeding it onto the strut. But uh, when we get to that gap, we're going to have to make sure that the strut goes all the way through to the next uh, place where it has to slot in. Like that, yeah? So, slotting it in the next space. And then we're going to pull it all the way around. Then we're going to take this clip and we're going to first put that strut back on, on the inside, like that. And you got to kind of hold that strut in place while you pop this back onto the frame. So, there we go. There's that hole, and that goes with that peg on the clip. Then we're just going to come back around to the side and press that strut in until you feel it click into place. And then I find it's easiest if you pull back this handle a little bit while you're zipping these back in place. And you have to kind of line them up, otherwise uh, it doesn't look right. started because we want that handle mechanism to be kind of right in the center.
place. And pull everything taut. Yeah. All right, we're then gonna zip this liner back in. It's a zipper that goes all the way around the inside again. And it's just a matter of reinserting your mattress and putting your storm cover back on, which are both pretty self-explanatory. But in any case, that was our guide to removing the textiles for the bassinet of the Upper Baby Vista V2 or the Upper Baby Cruise V2. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.